What's up everybody, this is Wade Merrick from Unparalleled Universe and today I wanted to share with you a custom figure that I made. Uh, four or five years ago I was really into customizing but I kind of got out of it and every now and then I get the urge to make a custom so I was digging through my box of body parts and I found this guy and he was halfway done, he pretty much just needed to be painted. I decided to take it out and finish him and this is a Marvel Legends style high evolutionary figure and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way he came out. For a base, I used the Marvel Legends Thor Buster Iron Man from the MODOK series from Toy Biz. And for his head, I used the Soda Street Fighter T-Hawk figure. And aside from that, the rest of the details are sculpted or just pieces of plastic or piping that I used for, to make some details on him. Um, like this is all just pieces of plastic that are kind of sculpted onto him. This is sculpted and this came from Conan. And uh, that's about it. I did the best I could to eliminate any kind of paint rub on his shoulders, but there's still a little bit and it kind of made the joint tight, but you're still able to move it around and the paint rub's very minimal. Everywhere else the joints are, are pretty okay though. I didn't have too much of a problem with paint rub. I would have had a lot less problem with paint rub if I used the destroyer variant, but I had this Iron Man laying around so I just decided to use this and it worked out okay. So. And I think this soda T-Hawk head worked out really good. For some reason, I saw that head and it just like screamed uh, high evolutionary to me. I'm not even really that familiar with this character, but it just really reminded me of him. And uh, all the details on the head there are sculpted. And when painting them, I just painted them like black with a black base and then just did uh, like a dry brush everywhere. And I really like doing that with colors like uh, pink and purple. I think it comes out cool. I really like making Drax figures because for that reason, you know, to dry brush all that purple on there. I always think it looks cool. And I like the way this came out too. I, I wish the pink was a little bit brighter, but like I said, I'm, I'm really happy with how this came out, so. And for the paints, I use the Games Workshop Citadel Warlock Purple. And I use the Games Workshop Citadel Abaddon Black. And I really like using these Games Workshop paints. I think they're good for dry brushing and effects and things like that. And for the silver, I used uh, Tamiya Chrome Silver. And I like these Tamiya paints, but I don't use them very often. So I think I'm going to start using them more. So that's my custom Marvel Legends style high evolutionary figure. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't anything too complicated or spectacular, but it was something I definitely had fun doing. Um, I think it was a good way for me to get back into the hobby. And I hope you enjoyed the video because I do plan on putting up more videos of customs that I make. Because I really want to get back into it and it's something I definitely enjoy doing. I don't really keep too many custom figures in my display, but I definitely like making them. So I'm going to continue to do so. And I really hope that uh, you enjoy checking out the figure. Please let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear uh, some feedback or what, what I could do better, you know, what, what's not so good and, you know, what worked and all that. So please be sure to check out CoolToyReview.com. Also, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. And that's it. Thank you very much. Peace.